The Pro Yaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 17, Saber Tokyo, April Meeting. I'm Michael Westbay, your host for The Pro Yaku Report. Starting at 3.33 p.m. at the restaurant Shiba no Tori Daiichi in Tokyo, the Tokyo chapter of the Society for American Baseball Research, Saber Tokyo, had the second quarterly meeting of 2013. After the meeting, most of the members remained for dinner and more conversations. To lead off the meeting, Chapter President Shinohara-san reviewed the Tokyo Chapter Charter. I'm sure it doesn't stray from the North American version, other than the additional 3,000 yen membership fees to cover local events and expenses, so I won't bore you with the details. Next up, in compliance with the Charter, Treasurer Shino Uda-san, who was unable to attend the January meeting, reported on last year's expenditures and this year's projected costs. The yearly General Assembly meeting, which had often been a stayover in the past, had been a one-day affair the past couple of years. This has contributed to a surplus being carried over, and it was suggested that we restart the tradition of having a stay-over General Assembly again this coming January. It will be considered based on potential turnout. Chiba-san then started off the presentations with a review of his U.S. spring training tours of Florida and Arizona. Items he hit on included, Taxis are now cheaper than renting a car. It's a great bargain considering one gets to watch baseball all the afternoon and into the evening pretty much every day. That is, if you can still handle it. (laughs) There are lots of little-known players playing in the field. There were many husband and wife couples participating in the tours, where the wife would be keeping score while the husband would be drinking beers in the stands. And speaking of beer, stadium beer has gotten to be quite expensive, but wine at restaurants throughout the U.S. has really gotten to be quite affordable. Talk about single-A facility field maintenance being much better than the maintenance that many of the pro stadiums get for their fields led to a discussion about artificial turf and natural grass that in turn led to a discussion about Japanese infielders inability to play at the MLB level. The scariest part about taking a tour is potentially getting on the wrong bus. Uh, Chiba-san was quite concerned about holding everybody else up. Bacon Chiba-san found, was delicious for the first several days, but it didn't necessarily agree with him after about a week. In-season tours can cost twice as much for just two days compared to the two-week tours available in the spring. And that eventually led to somebody mentioning that the February baseball tours in Okinawa are greatly improving. They have many new services popping up and buses run between the camps. After that talk, we came back to Shinohara-san, who gave a presentation about how Dinsu handled sponsorship sales for the World Baseball Classic since its inception. Unfortunately, the materials are labeled classified so I cannot share the contents of the presentation with you. But he did clarify a misconception that I had about the sponsorships. I was under the impression, based on commercials that I saw during the WBC, that some sponsors were only sponsoring Samurai Japan, as they had the Samurai Japan logo on their commercials, but they didn't have the logo for the WBC. Shinohara-san assured me that such sponsors had the right to use both, but elected to use only one. This was the sponsor's choice, not due to reduced or selective contributions. 
Finally, Kodasan shared some photos and stories about going to the Samurai Japan semifinal, then the WBC final in San Francisco. He reports that plenty of seats were available on game day for both games. While expensive, he was able to sit behind the backstop for the Japan game and had a really great view. The group he was with also toured around San Francisco, even finding Lefty O'Doul's Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge, a very popular spot right next to one of the Giants' dugout stores. Dinner after the meeting was mainly chicken courses, as it's a chicken place, with a plate of sashimi mixed in. The grilled chicken that came out at the start was absolutely my favorite, and judging by how quickly the extras disappeared, I'd say it was the favorite of several others as well. The next meeting will be held on the third Saturday of July. And now it's time to pull out the pocket schedule. John and Jim found themselves together at Sabadon this week, where they teamed up for a chat with Ryan Spielborgs, also known as Speedy. Tune in tomorrow, April 22nd, for that, various notes, and the duo fielding some questions. If you know of any upcoming Pro Yaku related event, I encourage you to join the Pro Yaku community on Google Plus and let us know there. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, take care. <laughs>